Hello, I'm Brent Smith. I am the singer for the band Shine Down. What's happening? Cause it's about to get heavy! So this record is very, very specific. Um, everything on this record is a statement. Everything on this record is um, everything on this record is necessary. Um, so and and everything is very big and very cinematic and very heavy. Um, it's also a story album. It's not a traditional idea of a concept record, but it is one full story and the thing about that is when we began writing we already went into it with the idea of doing a concept record and what happened was during the course of writing and then going in to actually produce it and bring it to life the songs really took shape very quickly and the order became very very apparent uh, the other thing too is this it is our sixth record and when people in our organization were talking about producers, we were very upfront, very early, that Eric's gonna do it. So, uh, Eric Bass is our bass player, who's way more than just a bass player. Uh, he was ready to do it. He produced Cut the Cord, he produced uh, a song called Diamond Eyes, he produced a few other singles for the band. Um, but when I met him, he was already engineering and producing. Um, but he was ready to do it this time. And the great thing about that is self-producing, sometimes people, you know, they'll think that if a band self-produces, that could be, you know, not a good idea. But we've had a lot of really great teachers. We've worked with some amazing producers and some incredible engineers. Um, and he was really ready to do it. Not only did he produce the record, but he also mixed it. So we had a vision for this album. We knew exactly what we wanted to do. Um, and with the single, Devil, why that's first and why we chose to go with that first is that's the very first song in, in, on the record, but beginning of the record there's a, there's a part, it's the introduction, which is called the entrance. Because everything on the record takes place inside of a room. Um, so Devil is kind of like, it's the starting point for this person psychologically. Because Devil is about being, it's about being afraid. It's about being terrified of not only yourself, but what's outside. And asking yourself, you know, why am I like this? Why is this happening? And this is really the song that we, this is digging in the dirt psychologically. Because the whole transition of everything and how the story goes from the beginning with Devil all the way to the finale of Brilliant you hear this individual, which we hope the audience understands that the audience member is supposed to put themselves in the story. But you hear the transformation. Like you hear this person start in a very dark place and then you, you hear the, the switch where they get their confidence back and they start to like, they start to figure it out, you know? And what works for them may not work for somebody else and what works for somebody else may not work for them. But you, it's a, it's a psychological journey, you know, but everything is deliberate on this record. It's very focused and very, um, it's very real. Hurry up before your blood runs. That's very articulate and, and very elegant what you're saying and how you're expressing yourself in regards to you know what the symbolism is of this record and it, hopefully which it sounds like that's exactly was our intention for the audience and for the listener to hear but that's a very very that's a very interesting way of, of putting it into perspective you know it is life living and then you know death if you will um, that's that's what people would consider the circle of life. But we don't really believe that it like ends. Like we believe that this is one journey, like all of us together on this planet, this is one journey. And our bodies may die, but our spirit, our mind, our soul, it goes to another journey. Um, I, I'll never understand athe atheist. I, I, have, I completely respect, you know, that thought pattern that, you know, 
And a lot of times they'll say, well, do you remember being born? And I'm like, yeah, I totally remember being born, you know, because they have this idea. I think it's a fear of death for them. Like they just, they, they're, they're afraid of what's going to happen actually. Because when you talk about, you know, I become worm food, like it, everything goes black, your body might, you know, decompose, but your spirit will go on, you know, to the next to the next place, to the next journey. You, I don't believe that we're, I don't believe that we're subsequently, I don't think it's decided upon that we only get one chapter. I think we get many chapters. Uh, yeah, 100%. And a lot of times too, I'm, I'm very respectful of people's decisions and their opinions and their beliefs. I, I'm very respectful. Um, because what I believe maybe someone else just hasn't experienced yet. Like, I just, I have faith, you know? Like, I, I just believe that, I don't think that this is it. But what I do think is while you're here, do everything you can to be present, like with the world, you know? Try to become a bit more a part of the solution and not a part of the problem, you know, with a lot of different subjects. But, you know, just be present. Be a human being, you know. And that's a lot of what this record talks about, too. It's about the human spirit. It's about, like, you know, when you, tomorrow, when you wake up, if you're walking down the street or whatever, going about you and your life and what have you, you see someone that might uh, look like they're having a difficult day, maybe ask them if they're okay and genuinely, you know, want to know if they're okay. You know, it might be nice just for them to hear someone say, you having a good day? You okay? What that is, is being a human being, you know? And I think people lose sight of that. And that's, you know, just one of the many subjects that are expressed in attention, attention. But, you know, it's, it, it's just about the respect a lot of times of your fellow man, woman, child, you know, so on and so forth. Just be present. Music is the only thing that I know of that can instantaneously create an emotion. You know, someone that is having a very difficult time and is, you know, at the bottom. That song that, that reminds them to get back up, you know, like it's, it, it may be difficult at this moment right now, but it will get better. But you have to fight for it. You, you can't, it's not going to be handed to you. So, um, and I don't think you would want it handed to you. I, I, I think it's important to to live and to work for, you know, your own self-worth and your own right to live free and, you know, be a part of society. But the fact of the matter is, is I think that people in this day and age, especially in 2018 and everybody that's technology and smartphones and that there's just a wealth of information, everybody has an opinion. And sometimes that can be daunting. It can be, you know, it can drag you down, you know, the negativity. Um, but songs and music, and especially albums, like we did this on purpose on Attention Attention. This is an album. It's actually meant to be listened to from the beginning to the middle and the finale. You know, we, we're telling you a story. Um, but that's, the, that's why I wanted to be what I am today from the moment I entered the earth. You know, it's, music is the only thing that I know that can instantaneously create just vast amounts of emotion. It's awesome. Going back to what we said earlier, I was never afraid to, to, to earn it. I was never, I'm still earning it. And I'm also still learning, you know. I've always tried to be the hardest worker in the room and I wouldn't ask anybody else to be if I wasn't gonna be that. Um, and I'll tell you this, I hold on to the I don't wanna say I hold on to the hustle, but I hold on to the fact that I'm very, very fortunate that I am consistently always wanting to create something. And I'm always wanting to do, not do the same thing twice. I don't believe in a ceiling or a top. I believe if you climb to the top of one mountain that you should give yourself a moment to tell yourself that, you know, good job. But then you need to go find a bigger mountain. Don't be afraid to fail. Like you may not win every single time, but don't stop. Like don't give up. You, you, you will 
you will fail. You'll, you'll fail, you know, a few times. But don't give up. Like, don't be afraid of that because eventually you'll start winning. One last word to tell the audience. We'll see you very, very soon. Y'all better be jumping up and down and going nuts with us. <laughs> and thank you very much for all the support. Merci. I'm reaching out to the